Hi, my name is Francisco, and in case you're writing the conclusions of your dissertation or your thesis, I have a few suggestions for you. So the first thing to keep in mind is what is the purpose of the conclusion chapter or section in your work? The main purpose of it is for you to reflect on what you have found. It's a moment in which you wrap everything up for the reader. And in order for you to do so, for you to reflect on what you have done and what you have found, let me give you some suggestions of what you should do and some things, suggestions on what you should not do. Now, what you should do, one of the key things is, uh, again, for you to reflect on what your results are and to link that and to discuss that in relation to your theoretical framework that you have on your literature review. So, uh, how do your results, for example, fit in relation to previous studies? Do they contradict previous studies? Do they complement previous studies? Do they confirm what other authors have found, but in a different uh, industry or in a different context, for example? So how do your results fit in relation to the existing literature? That's one very important thing in your conclusion. For you to remind the reader once again what the aim of your study was and how the aim was fulfilled. And the same thing for your objectives. So if you had multiple objectives, how each of those objectives were met and what was it that you did. Uh, another very important thing is your own reflections in relation to your findings. So how important are they? How do they contribute? How do they contribute to the industry? How do they contribute to academia? Um, how do they contribute in any possible sense? So this uh, reflection that you're gonna that you're gonna have in relation to your findings, that's something that only you can do, and also it's something that you can discuss with your supervisor. But that's really really important, which is again the reflection that you have on those findings and how those findings contribute in any possible sense. Now, one thing that conclusion should not be is an abstract. In other words, a summary of everything that you do. It's not supposed to be a summary. Yeah. Again, you're going to remind the reader what the, uh, your research aim was and your objectives were and how they were fulfilled and reflect on the results, but it's not a summary of your results. You're not going to be uh, summarizing everything that was done. You're going to have your abstract in the beginning of your thesis, the beginning of your dissertation, where you're going to give a, a quick overview in one page on what you did. The conclusion is not for that. Conclusion is a moment for reflection. Reflection on what you did and what you found and how that links with the current literature. How does it contribute? Yeah, why your work was important, why what you found was important, yeah, and how each one of those things were addressed. And one final thing for your conclusion is remember that this is the moment in which I come, so I come from Brazil and, and in Brazil we have a, an expression which is uh, to sell your fish. Yeah, sell your fish meaning highlighting what, why what you found was important, why what you found contributes in any possible sense to the industry or to academia and to the existing literature. So just summarizing really quickly what my suggestions are for your conclusion chapter. Make sure that you remind the reader what your research aim was, your objectives and how each one of them was fulfilled. Uh, make sure that you reflect on your findings, that you link that back to the literature, that you highlight why your work is important and how it contributes. And please do not use your conclusion as a moment for summary, just going through everything that you did. That's not what a conclusion is. Yeah, and once again, like I say in almost pretty much every video, these are my suggestions. Uh, every supervisor has a different style, has different expectations. So I'll uh, make sure that you discuss that with your supervisor. There's an original uh, article here on the description below, which was written by uh, my dear friend Claire Hindley, also a professor at IUBH University of Applied Sciences, where I currently work. Don't forget to have a look in musicstats.org on the section where you have a bunch of, uh, of articles that we have written there on thesis support. And one final suggestion from my side, make sure that while you're writing your conclusion, put yourself a uh, nice craft beer, I, I love craft beer, and listen to a song by a band called Nirvana, and the song is called Heart Shaped Box, and it's one of my favorite songs from Nirvana, great song. All the absolute best, take care, bye bye.